see if they can make a difference now. And another chance here for Yui to set up. And Madriaga sends it over. Pedido will go up. Good coverage in the back for UE. First rally here. Finally a point at the side out. Against Ateneo leading the charge here. And she is the team captain for the UE Warriors this season. With only one out of the five rookies for the Lady Warriors after so long. Also one of the products of Cal Sports and the spike of the set is and Count. we are excited to see. Count on it. She will score in double digits today. Yeah, already three. Three of UE's 10 points. Care of Casi Dongaglio. There she comes. Those again coming from the back row. Good hustle from UST. Another chance here for UE to set up. Combination attack. Good blocking by UST. Figure that one out. Caballo going for Peña Fiel. And what a rally we're seeing. Peñafiel going up one more time, seeing the hole between the blockers there. Focus on both sides of the court. Defense working for both teams, and finally Peñafiel gets it through the two-man block. The two teams, Crazy Matriaga and Casi Carvalho, really trying their best to look for the best combination play. Gusto, Kaisepada is on the roll. She's going for that same spot. Junior's program, yeah. she found her new home with the Lady Warriors. Even in last season, the mga broken Four of the UE players coming from the Cal Sports program. And Yaga, who gave her teammates, was not for not coming back to money. That's why this is a good matchup in the setter's position. 16 excellent sets for Kizzy Madriaga against Ateneo. 20 excellent sets for Carvalho against NU. Again, another rally brewing here. Abeliana in the front row for USD and a rare mistake. Yeah. We have a new setter on the court here. For USD. Oh, she is hot today. Wow. She's feeling it. Yes. There is also added motivation, I guess. Enjoying the action together with Rodrigo Roque, who's the president of UAP Season 86. Welcome, gentlemen. And we hope you enjoy the action here. Boyos. For the Lady Warriors. Big play, and who's the smarter player there? She was near the front line, so she took her opportunity to score the set-winning point for UE. Uh, brilliant play there by UE, led by, of course. And here we go, set number two. USD got the chance first. UE's turn, Cepada is blocked, and Plaza happy about that. Say that uh, you really need to commit, but they take the first line of defense so that... Uh, Came up empty in the first set of talking about Plaza, the six-foot middle blocker for Team USD, and Carvalho with a kill there. Uh, not making it easy at all. For USD, you saw glimpses of uh, some adjustments, things going well for USD. Well, they continue to bounce on UE here, trying to figure out how to go against Kai. Uh, it's hard not to from what she has shown us today. <laughs> she has been explosive. Um, it's really the now the leadership role that she is taking uh, among these newer players, and I think that is helping out her confidence also. Their first point of attack. And now Reg Horado is actually getting the numbers that she wants. She... Ooh, great serve from Reg Horado, just dropping. That's a really good serve by Yesha Rojo. And she's going the other direction now. But Horado took care of that Ooh. one. And what a kill. Go with a hammer. Loose ball. 
pump set from Denden Pipito. No problem going through the two blockers. Managua already has four points coming off the three attacks and one block. Back row attack. Ingalio picked up by Jurado. And Pedido blocked this time. Tungayo just sending it ever so slowly and perfectly. I mean, campfire defense there on the side of the UNT Golden Tigers. And everybody was just looking. We have these uh, girls who played in that PNVF championship where the high school team of Cal Sports reigned supreme over the UE Warriors. And now they're joining forces, which is nice to see. And Tungayo refuses to give up. Ah. Here in the second set, they are trailing by five points, but he just tries to continue. Second year player for Team USD. And that one is called inside. That is an instant impact for the UE Lady Warriors. Excellent pass. And that gave uh, Perdido so much space to hit it off the hands of the blockers. Tongalio, such heavy hands, but USD is able to defend against her. Again, Tongalio will go up. <laughs> and the heavy hands and just the trajectory of her attacks. Aside for the, yeah. from the UE meantime, still fighting to stay alive here in the second set. Let's see what Carvalho chooses. And that's good enough. attack picked up by Carvalho the hustle by Poyos that was worth it Carvalho mm. again slowing things down good read by Jurado and the lefty attack by Perdido hard to stop kahit anong mangyari at kahit sino man ang nanonood kailangan gawin niya ang best niya at ang nakasanayan niya this report is brought to you by he wants them to really bounce back and recover very quickly I got to chat with him a little bit before the game, and he says, really, it is the psychological edge that that first win. That says so much about the skill level of Reg Jurado. Oh, what a smart play. <laughs> That's a good first ball. And Rojo, nabantayin na naman. Oh. You know what? We thought it was an ace already. Back set. Regerado going up. She's dug by Zapata. And Pepito is going to send the ball over. Chance here. Yui will set up again. Coming from the right side. And laying it there. Just down by a single point. You're looking for the hole there in Zepada that uh, she started with. She stepped into this court that just burning, and now she has been silenced. And now the ace in the second set, getting us to this point, and USD up by three now. Gula just managed to get that ball over. Sepada, though, had a... They are looking to boost their efficiency. Medyo bumaba yung efficient, efficiency nila pagdating sa atake. And uh, maybe the passing has been a factor as well. Now, uh, USD is just pulling away here. She, Start up. She is taking on a different role this season. Last season, she was one of the top scorers for, US, uh, for UE, rather. But now... She is a uh, service specialist. UE was asking for a four touches violation. It was a, a steady showing for UE earlier, in the earlier part of this third set. But now the defense, like only Iraldito for USC, they're able to transition really effectively. 
getting these plays and activating the likes of Poyos. Poyos and Urado in double digits already. Poyos from the middle. Good pick up by Kizzy. And uh, chance ball here. Quick play. This time good enough. That, and that service. Because this is already set point for USD. And bad news, Poyos is at the serve. Hula, try to finish it. Not quite yet. And the double block will do it for USD. Between the men's and the women's uh, divisions. And before this game, we saw DLSU winning against FEU and leading in all teams. It will really help Cassie Dongalio if Merong magkocommit sa gitna against Teresa Nogales. Dongalio goes up and the chance here for USD. Good pick up by Reyes. Dongalio with that pass. Uh, attacks when she gets a nice set. Download and subscribe now or watch via PilipinasLive.com and experience UAAP Games Live in HD and commercial free anytime and anywhere in the world. Now, back to the battle. Managua with eight points today. Gula stopped there by the blockers of UE. She will go up again. Good pick up by the libero. Back row attack. Dongalia. She stopped. Julia again. And she gets it on the third try. And you know. And what she does. And you know, we're watching her on the court. She continues to egg her players on and uh, just uh, dictating plays and just getting them really uh, riled up. Oh, wow. Nogales finally gets one. Outside set to Gulia. She gets it past the block. But Yui will keep the ball in play. And it is Gula from everywhere. Let's see if Cassie Dangalio can score a couple of points while she's in the front row. Well, there's one. The pag binibitawan ng outside hitters yung block nila, mas malaki yung binabantayan ng mga defenders sa likuran. How <laughs> you convert. So even if Madriaga wants to get more points, from Dongalio, pag wala silang magandang pasa, it's still very difficult. And uh, this is what happens. Alam na kung sino ba ang uh, who will remain spotless after this matchup. And who will get their first loss. Dongalio still scoring off that <laughs> loose ball. Front line of UE. Saiza Gula is just so confident as an outside hitter. Again, not the tallest of outside hitters, but... <laughs> Perfect pass to Carvalho, but Nogales was there. And really, Nogales has been making uh, the difference. When this to a fifth decider. That's a good first ball. Nogales, there you go. This is what you're asking for, Neil. That if was... UE wants to catch up. And this is the rotation that UE has been waiting for, as you pointed out, Neil. Just coming at the right time, but Plaza. A bit too fast, fast for yeah. Madriaga. And she's not, again, she's not the tallest of setters. Mm. So may hirapan siyang agawin yun from the other side of the court. Oh, she struggled with that one. A one-handed set, but it was Dongalio really who made two. Fernandez here getting ready to serve. Two-point deficit for UE. This is a must-win fourth set for the Red Warriors. Joust one. By Yui there. Here's a chance. Madriaga pushing it out to Dongalio. And she intended to go deep and she got the line. Yui needs to play the defense that they've shown us earlier in this match. Oh, good save there by Yui. Herbalio pushes it out to Poyos. And that'll do it for the USD Golden Tigresses. Poyos and her 24 points.